So who's being slow played in camp? You have a little tell us? <laughs> um, so the few guys that, that are limited right now are uh, Matson. He's got some shoulder soreness. Um, it's stemming from, uh, he's going to be about a month behind. Um, and then a couple guys that are on, on rehab right now uh, with Shedlong, uh, Rico Garcia, and Adley's got a little bit of elbow soreness. He played in a, he's been here for a few weeks, obviously. Played an inter squad game on Friday. Has some elbow soreness after he's getting treatment right now. So hopefully we'll see him out there next day or two. Um, when you, uh, a guy like Madsen, um, I mean, he was, he obviously had a chance to make this bullpen. Um, is it a situation where, you said you're, you're kind of you're slow playing. Is it a situation he's probably have to be ruled out? Given no, he's doing. Back? He's on a he's on a, a full rehab uh, program right now. So he's just he's about a month behind, and um, hoping he'll be on the mound here uh, sometime in April. And then, um, but it's just it's uh, you know it's just not, he's not going to be with us to okay. start the year. Yeah. Okay. Have these situation is it something that causes that level of concern in terms of start of the year? No, not right now. I mean, we're just getting treatment right now, and I'm hoping he's out there in the next couple of days. How, how do you see your outfield, or infield, excuse me, aligning? Um, we talked to Renato you know, today, and you mentioned yeah. he was uncomfortable last year at third base, but do you see him getting some time there? Yeah, I think I'm going to move around everybody. Uh, one thing, we, we, we signed Chris Owings, so he'll be out there today. Um, so I had another infielder that can play all over the place. So, you know, a lot of these guys have played multiple spots, and, and Urias, uh, Mateo, you know, I do, we saw Odor at third base a little bit last year, but I know that he's primarily a second baseman in those years in Texas. Um, so we have some movable pieces there that, that uh, um, I'm going to just take a look at them all over the field. We'll throw in Owings in the mix. I yep. mean, he obviously got to can play in different positions and mm -hmm. stuff. Do you see him as a guy moving around? Do you see a spot? Specific? Yeah, no, he's going to do a little some light stuff today. He literally you know, just passed everything and, and, uh, and signed, and so... Uh, do some light stuff today, and they'll be for work out with us tomorrow. And but I've seen Chris for a long time, and know he can play short and in the middle of the field. Um, and so yeah, he's been one of the guys that's going to have a chance to make the team, and, and uh, excited to add some some veteran middle infielders. Speaking of veterans, uh, Torinos is uh, is here, and he's the oldest player you've had during your your time here. Is it important to you to have with such a young club to have older guys? I think it does help. There's no doubt for me, it does help. Um, it's, you know, I saw Robinson back in 2007, and, and we were talking about that yesterday. Um, and I think that, especially someone like, you know, like him and like Chris that have been in uh, a part of, you know, winning teams, different, on different teams, um, just the kind of their journey to get here. Uh, you know, when you play this, when you play as long as Robinson has, you know, you're doing something right and that you're also not just a good player, but you're also really good in the clubhouse. And it's really, really, um, it's easy to see right now already um, how influential he's going to be just because of his experience and, and um, just a great guy and willing to, uh, you know, lend a hand with, with anything. So I'm really excited to have him with us. Do you expect to make any other additions in the infield in particular? That'd be up to Mike. That'd be up to Mike. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Brandon, pitching is always such a <clears throat> cluster mark. Do you have any idea about the number of innings you're going to want uh, the starters? Well, we're going to stretch out guys as much as we possibly can. It's, we're gonna, pretty much going to be listening to them, watching them to see kind of when they're ready. It's going to be tough in three weeks to, to get guys to a, a full workload that they would get in a normal camp. But right now it's, you know, we'll start out with a with a couple innings, kind of see how they come back from it. Um, a couple guys might do some backfield stuff early, but it's just going to be a slow ramp. Um, we're hoping that everybody can stay healthy and we have some decisions to make at the end. Do you have a starter for Friday yet? Uh, tomorrow, I'll give you that tomorrow. What about as far as he mentioned about pitching, but, but the middle infield? I mean, you had Owings in and you have like guys like Martin and Mateo and Jones and guys that, that you know you haven't seen much of or you want to see more of you personally. Uh, but then you have the other guys like Arias. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of guys, a lot of bodies for those three or four spots. Oh, I think it's great. <laughs> I think competition's great in camp. I think experience is great to have here. 
you know, I wish we could they, they could play a little bit longer than just three weeks, but um, yeah, I'm all for adding infield depth, depth period, especially in this type of year. I don't think, you know, we're just, you don't know how many soft tissue stuff issues we're going to have, etc. And I think that, uh, um, you know, adding quality major league players is, is what, you know, it's, it's nice. So it's nice to add someone like Chris.